Today I wanted to show a technique that I came up with last year and I haven't seen it anywhere else. I kind of did it out of desperation and I've figured out it works pretty good. Um, so the challenge is, is I have tons of these grizzly um, capes, a lot of them dry fly capes that weren't very good to start with. I bought them when I was younger and I literally just have piles of them. Um, and they really make great intruder wings. The problem is, is I'm pretty lazy and, and don't like the mess of trying to dye um, a lot of different colors with writ dye. So uh, I was getting ready to go on a trip and I, and I needed some uh, blue and purple wings. And so basically I just got out my Sharpie pens and started coloring these and I figured out it works pretty good. Um, the other thing I figured out is, is just like when you're dyeing feathers, you really need to um, clean them off first. So basically I just go through the capes and I pick out um, some feathers that, that might be appropriate. And a lot of my capes have uh, feathers that have gotten pieces stripped off of them because I've used them when I was younger. So I have to, I have to dig a lot of those out. But um, every once in a while I'll find a good feather or two. So I just pull those off. And I bunch them up by the tails. And you can actually go in with tying thread and, and actually tie them together. That's, that's totally an optional step. And you can do a bunch of these ahead of time and just have them ready to, to color when you need them. And I just grab them by the, the ends of the tails and, and wash them like a set of clothes. This is just hot, soapy dishwater. Basically, I just come in here and I'm just gonna run them through there. I'm just trying to get that natural oil off there that's gonna prevent any dye or marker from, from penetrating. And once they're good, we go in there and Again, just trying to get that off there. I'm going to rinse them off. And I can kind of roll them in a paper towel, depending on how big of a hurry I'm in. If I'm not in big hurry, then no big deal. Today I'll probably use these tonight. And uh, our dry air here in Central Oregon, those will be ready to go. So I'll just pull those apart and sort of lay them back out the way that I had them and in a couple hours those will be dry and ready to go so basically um, as you would imagine the next step is really just to to literally paint them um, with whether what other color marker that you're going to need so basically I'm going to come in here with a white sheet of paper I actually like glossy paper a lot of times I use um, old bills and stuff because it doesn't tend to soak up and waste ink quite as much as regular paper But this is just easier to to show and I'm just going to grab one of the old feathers off here to demonstrate And I just pin them down with my fingers and I come in with my pen And probably a wider sharpie pen would be easier And I'm just going to come in here And just color it This obviously probably isn't an ideal feather for what I need and then I could go in and I could tie it in as a wing or I could use this as a great throw it on a sculfin pattern or something like that and I do both sides it's not nearly as good as a true dye in my experience you know if you fish one of these intruders for three or four days you will lose some of the color um, I don't do a lot of of dyeing so I don't know how much better but um, in a pinch, it's actually worked for me pretty good. And it'll good, last a good couple of days. Got another feather here as an example. So let that dry and tie it in. And, and you've got a, a great, uh, great intruder wing or a great colored hackle. And, and pretty much the whole rainbow of colors without having to buy a lot of expensive hackles just when you need a, a couple, one or two feathers. Hope that helps.